a very slight interruption into our woodland video series. On this one, I'm looking at my Mitsubishi Outlander van. Now, I understand if you're more interested in woodland than you are in cars, then by all means skip by and get back to, we'll be back to our normal woodland uh, videos uh, by the end of the week. But if you come here because you've got trouble with your Mitsubishi two litre VW engine, particularly the turbo fault, then you might be interested to see how I got on with a bit of Mr Muscle and uh, I'll also do a week by week progress and also uh, a four week review so four weeks after I've done it I do a full review on whether what we've done has actually worked or not so you might be interested in that because many people claim it works but videos I've watched don't ever seem to come back to tell you what happened which I thought was important so I've got a Mitsubishi Outlander 2008 and it runs on a VW 2 litre PD engine the 130 PD engine and um, they do have a little bit of a tendency to have problems with the turbo in that the EGR valve spews its black goo into the top of the turbo and eventually the veins clog up and it goes into limp mode so this has been doing it now for on and off for about three years I kind of live with it but last year the engine management light come on and I had that reset and then the engine management come on again the other day and of course what happens it goes into limp mode you get no turbo and absolutely no engine power at all so um, it's got to be fixed now there's various people say you can put things in the tank and you can do this and this but one of the most reliable methods I've heard about other than taking the turbo off and cleaning it all is to put oven cleaner down the EGR hole of the uh, exhaust side of the turbo so that's the mission this morning I'm going to try that and if I can document a little bit of how I do it I've no real idea what I'm doing and I'm hope it's going to work rather than blow the turbo so just looking at the near side wing here but somewhere down there in the belly of it is the turbo so I'm down in the belly of this thing and of course it's not the same as what you see on the YouTube videos so the one I saw hadn't got the EGR cooler which is uh, this thing here that's the EGR cooler and this but this pipe is the EGR valve pipe you see that and well, it goes into the cooler and then down and out the bottom into the turbo so I'm kind of thinking if I can take this pipe off push the the um, turbo Mr Muscle cleaner pipe in there and down into the other one and hopefully I can get into the top of the turbo that way because I don't really want to take the EGR cooler off so I'm going to take this pipe off which goes underneath here so our next dilemma was once we got the that their EGR pipe off which is that's that one there uh, just push that out of the way then there's like a diaphragm thing inside this with an actuator just behind this pipe that if you push it down it turns a valve inside a butterfly valve which means then you can insert the tube way down into the pipe that goes into the top of the turbo uh, which is kind of handy because to take this EGR cooler off is a bit of a nightmare anyway we've done a bit of an endoscopy and shoved the pipe in the hole we've managed to modify my Mr Muscle cap I like to drill it out so I can put a tube in that was the only way I could do it. I tried all sorts of methods and I was getting stuff everywhere. So I've just squirted the first load in. Now apparently you're supposed to do this over a period of about two hours. Leave it, squirt some more in and then leave it again. So that's where we're at at the minute and I will update you as we go. The uh, foam cleaner is just sort of expanding out the hole but this pipe goes in about six to eight inches so I'm sort of hoping it's down far enough to meet the top of the turbo but we'll have had about two hours of pumping Mr Muscle 
into there and you can see it's all gunging out quite black goo actually I've been spraying it off with some water just in a pump sprayer just to get the worst of the because it, it dribbles down it's been spraying it off to get rid of that and uh, so what I'm going to do now is assemble this back together again and then go for a test run the only thing I can't do is because I can't actually physically feel or reach it is to pump the actuator on the turbo and it's meant to do that as it's kind of cleansing but I can't I can't even find out where it is quick update on the Outlander turbo so uh, it's been two weeks now since I put the Mr. Muscle excuse me Mr. Muscle down the uh, Outlander EGR pipes and um, initially first first real day out within five minutes uh, it had gone into safe mode so I thought great it hasn't worked anyway so I turned the ignition off turn it back on again and that clears it um, and so we're two weeks in and it hasn't done it since and I've been all over I don't drive an awful lot of miles but I do deliver uh, I've been delivering some logs and that's a uh, that's about a ton on the back pulling um, and I've delivered that all over and quite long distances non-stop uh, well long distances for me 15 miles and turbo has not come not failed at all um, in fact at the, even at this early stage of two weeks I'm pretty convinced that the Mr Muscle has done something I don't know long term whether it'll work how it'll work long term but I'll be more than happy to try it again if if I had a fault again now I would quickly whip everything off again do it again for a couple of hours um, knowing that I'm pretty sure every one you do is going to clear it a bit more but it's definitely definitely uh, made a difference uh, I was getting a uh, gun into safe mode I was getting that sometimes every day but you'd soon clear it with a, a, a turning the ignition off and on and then um, occasionally I would get the engine management light on which meant that's my phone going I'd get the engine management light come on just occasionally and I'd have to clear it with the uh, code reader then. I've not plugged the code reader in for the last two weeks so I don't know what's going on and whether there is a code that's pending in there um, but what I'll do is I'm going to do another update in two weeks time and see where we're at with it. Uh, the four week update is we've only had one where it's failed on the boost so I went out of the road in the morning and turned and within 100 yards the fault code had come up now that didn't flag up a light on the dashboard so all I need to do is at next junction turn the ignition on and off for about five seconds restart the engine and it clears the code and ever since then I've driven here there and everywhere for me which is hauling logs about trailers on trailers off um, and honestly it's like for me it's like a new van so um, I can't believe it has actually worked I'm not sure for how long it's going to work I think for £10 it has been value for money but I've got a feeling in, in a couple of months time maybe even less it's going to happen again my advice would be if you can get to the actuator so that you can get your fingers on it or some sort of string on it or something where you can work the actuator while the Mr. Muscle's in and that would be my next goal if I if and when I think I'll have to do this again I now know what to take off uh, it's just a case taking it off which is about 20 minutes putting the pipe in giving it a couple of hours and every 20 minutes or half an hour squirt another Bosch load in work the actuator and then you should be good I think at that so um, honestly if you've been quoted £800 for a new turbo like I was knowing that your turbo hasn't actually broken it's just clogged up with goo then for 10 quid I think it's well worth it so you don't forget it is it's the Mr Muscle oven cleaner it's the foam action one some other videos say it's got some sort of fancy chemical in it now the one I had didn't list the fancy chemical however it does say don't get it in your eyes and don't get it on your skin so I imagine whatever's in it is pretty nasty it's definitely worked for me up until now and I'm really surprised in fact I can't believe what a different van it feels uh, being able to get the turbo to spool up to 4000 rpm um, it actually feels quite quick <laughs> whereas before well 
try and get an up and hill and a default would come on and the light would come on and it was a right pain so um and uh if i get any other news on it um my channel is typically about woodlands and woodland craft but uh, i thought i'd do this video just to see if it helps you out now if i get any more updates on the turbo side of things then i will uh, i will do another little video and if i have to do the mr muscle again i might do another video on that but for now, that's it for this one. Thanks ever so much for watching. Um, if you've got an Outlander with a 2-litre VW engine in it that are known for their turbo faults, then by all means give it a go. And hopefully there's enough instruction in the video to give you an idea of what to do and where to squirt it and the overall results. So thanks ever so much. All the best to you. Ta-da. And as always, if you can get out into some woodland this week, then please continue to look after and care for our woodlands.